Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. So I think that we all know by now that just because we write something down in our planner, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen. Uh, you know, sometimes things just don't go according to plan, life gets in the way, and that's okay. So today I wanted to share with you guys what I do when things just, you know, happen unexpectedly and uh, how I go about uh, tracking that in my planner. So if you would like to see how I go about doing that, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's start off uh, by looking at appointments. Appointments is a really popular one because, you know, we're constantly having to uh, reschedule appointments because something came up and we're not able to um, go to that appointment. So what I do, so if you go back to July 9th, my son had a dentist appointment scheduled to get some fillings done and so I had to cancel the appointment. So what I do now, there are different ways that, um, you know, I've seen people, uh, I guess, cancel the appointment in their planner. So some people would just wipe that out. Uh, some people would just cross it out with a pen. What I do actually is I use these stickers over here from Honey Inked. Okay, so it says cancelled. So what I do is I just place the sticker over top of the original appointment. And then on top of that, or in addition to that, what I also do is I write the reason why I had to um, cancel the appointment. Now, if you notice, I didn't just go ahead and erase that. So one thing that I never do is I never erase um, any scheduled appointment or to do in my planner. And the reason why I don't do that is because I like to leave a trail. I have probably one of the worst memories out there. So I like to go back and um, take a look and see, you know, okay, I canceled that uh, appointment, but I can't remember why did I cancel it again? Oh, that's why. So again, um, you know, it's my planner is an extension of my brain. It has everything that, um, you know, I need to remember and that's why I love to um, write down as much as I can to help me remember things. So I also write down um, that I rescheduled the appointment on July 20th. So that is how I would, um, you know, tackle that issue um, in my weekly insert. By the way, this weekly insert is from a shop called um, Infinite Lotus. As always, I do have a discount code, which I'll link for you guys in the description box below. So what I do then in my monthly insert, and this monthly insert is from a shop called Elm on Paper Co. It's a month on one page. So if you go to July 9th, you will notice that I just put an X. I did not erase it because I do, again, want to, um, you know, have uh, some way that I can see that, oh, yeah, I had to cancel that. And you can see that I rescheduled that on July the 20th. Okay. So that is how I would um, take care of, you know, having to reschedule or cancel an appointment. So uh, now if my son was sick, so for example, he was uh, congested because of his allergies. Now, if he was sick for some reason, um, I had to take him to, to the doctor or anything like that, then that's where I would also track that information in his uh, doctor visits. So just over here on the bottom, I've got tabs for myself, my son, and my daughter. That takes me straight to our um, health information. Okay. So again, if he was, uh, you know, sick, that's where I would also track uh, the doctor visit as well. So these inserts, the doctor visits, uh, health log, medicine log, these are all part of the Mama Bundle, which is in collaboration between myself and May Paper Co. They are available in the printable version. I will link them in the description box below for you guys if you are interested. Okay, so moving on to the, um, you know, another thing that could happen unexpectedly and how I would go about doing that. And that is if I were to get a flare up due to my underlying uh, chronic illnesses. So for example, in my weekly insert, uh, you'll notice that on July 15th, um, I couldn't get some of the chores done. And the reason why is because uh, I had some IBS symptoms. So what I do 
in my weekly insert uh, to track something that came up unexpectedly, uh, something that wasn't scheduled and happened, is I would write it down and highlight it with the um, mild liner highlighter. These are double-ended, so it does have a thick um, brush on one end, and then it's got the fine point on the other end, and this one is in the brown color, okay? So this way, when I look at my weekly insert, uh, right away I can, you know, see and I can tell that, oh, something happened that day and I wasn't able to get done what I wanted to get done on my to-do list. So what I also do uh, in addition to that is um, I would actually track my IBS symptoms in my tracker. So if you look over here, you'll see that I do have a tab that says trackers. Uh, I do also have a video on uh, how I show you guys how I print on the post-it tabs. I'll link that for you guys in the description box below. So if I go to trackers, I have one for each of my chronic illnesses. So I can just flip over to my IBS tracker and you'll see that on July 15th, I did highlight um, the fact that I did have IBS symptoms on that day. So the highlighter that I use is the Tombow uh, brush pen in 942. This is one of my favorites. It's uh, again, a uh, dual brush. So you've got uh, the brush on one side and the fine point on the other side, okay. And what I use for my trackers is a year at a glance. This one is from Infinite Lotus. So I like to have a full year's uh, view of my symptoms so that I can, you know, see any patterns or anything like that happening. So that's how I go ahead and track my uh, symptoms. Let me know in the comment section below, do you guys track your symptoms as well? And if so, what do you guys use? Uh, that is it. So that's how I would go about tracking an illness. And again, this is really just to show when I do my weekly review of what went well, what didn't go well, and how I spent my week, it always helps to see uh, these things so that I know why I wasn't able to get done what I needed to get done that week. And it's really easy for me to see because it's highlighted in a different color. So that is it, you guys. That's how I would go about um, you know, tracking anything that came up unexpectedly. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys do uh, in your planner to uh, track anything that happened unexpectedly or anything that didn't go according to plan? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I post uh, pictures of my planner, what inserts I'm using, what supplies I'm using as well. I also do have a very exciting giveaway uh, that's going to be happening on Instagram pretty soon. So again, be sure to check out uh, Rana Plans on Instagram. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos, you guys. I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.